Hey, welcome back to another video. Hey, today's video, we're looking to make some venison jerky. I'm, I've got four different flavors I'm going to try today, and I'm going to dry them out here on my smoker. Right now, I've got it fired up. I'm getting it fired up right now. It's a cold one out here today. Uh, my thermometer's saying 29 degrees. I think it might be more like 26, but it doesn't really matter. There's snow on the ground, there's snow flying in the air, and we're getting ready to start cooking. Well, here we go, guys. I'm ready to get this thing started now. I've got my uh, jerky trays all filled with my venison, venison jerky. I've got four different flavors. Um, an original jerky. It's basically just seasonings. Then I've got a teriyaki that I put some uh, crushed black pepper on. I've got a sriracha uh, seasoning and marinade. And then what we call like a jerky lovers, which has teriyaki and soy and Worcestershire and pretty much everything you can think to throw into jer uh, marinade for jerky. It's got it in it. And then I put a little bit of crushed red pepper on, on that one as well. So it's, it's looking good. It's ready to go. I'm going to get this thing closed up and then we're going to get cooking here. I guess we should say get smoking because it's not going to really get that hot. Um, I'm going to cook around, like I said before, uh, 150 to 180 degrees, somewhere in there, and then we'll see how long it's going to take. I think it's going to be a little bit tricky today because not all of my meat is uniformly cut. So I took venison steaks and tried to slice it the best I could. But I got a lot of variation in the size of the pieces, so I'm going to have to be careful not to either overdo some of the smaller pieces, and I'm going to probably be periodically having to pull some pieces off of there. But anyway, it'll, it'll, it, I'm sure it's going to turn out really good. Um, so let's, let's get cooking here. Okay, guys, hey, something um, for all you northern barbecuers like myself who get out here in the lovely snowy weather to do your uh, cooking one of the things especially probably on my cooker more than maybe others but it's not very thick steel so it doesn't hold its temperature very well especially when it gets cold like this so a little trick that you can use to help insulate I guess you could say the outside of this uh, cooking chamber is a welding blanket so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this welding blanket over top and then just let that kind of hold some extra heat inside the cooking chamber and maybe I won't have to use quite as much wood and charcoal here on the other end to maintain my temperature. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on right now. Usually I just open it up like this and then just drape it over the top. There, now that should help out. Um, one of the things too, you can get these welding blankets at Harbor Freight. They're not very expensive. They're maybe like 25 bucks or something like that. And then whenever you use it, because it's, it is made with uh, fiberglass, I always like to put a pair of gloves on so later I'm not you know, itching myself all day because I got the little fiberglass fibers in my hands. So a couple little tricks there um, for any of you northern cold weather barbecue fans all right we've been out here cooking for about two hours now and i'm going to go ahead and uh take a look and see how everything's progressing along here uh, as far as my jerky goes and see how it's drying out I, I have a feeling some of my smaller pieces you know after a couple hours here might be ready to come off uh, and so i want to just take a look check it out and start peeing picking off any of the pieces that are ready to come off and then to get it back in there. I'm sure uh, a lot of my bigger pieces aren't going to be ready right now. Yep, yeah, it's looking, looking pretty good. I'm going to peel this off of here and we're going to take a look at some of this is doing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and, and take off a few of my smaller pieces here. 
and then um, I'm going to get a paper bag and I'm going to actually store them in the paper bags um, and then get it back out here cooking again. Alright, so I just peeled off a few of the smaller pieces um, and then I just moved my racks around. I uh, took the bottom rack and flipped it over to the top, took the top rack and put that on the bottom. I think that's going to help it uh, cook a little, a little more evenly. So I'm going to go ahead and get this, this tray back in the smoker and get back to cooking here. Now I will say I, uh, I did take a couple samples and uh, thumbs up so far so good. I'm thinking this is going to turn out pretty good. Those couple samples I took were got a good flavor and uh, and I think I caught it just before you know I dried dried those little pieces out too much. So as long as I keep an eye on it like I've been, um, I think we're going to have a good batch of jerky here. Well, I'm back in the house ready to finish this up. I'm just finishing up the last couple pieces in the oven. I put them in there about 170 degrees for about an hour and they're just about done. The last little bit of moisture coming out of them. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull this tray out of the oven and that'll be the end of uh, all the pieces of jerky that I have uh, done today. And then I'm going to show you what uh, how they turned out. Okay, so here I've got the four different flavors that I made today. Um, we'll start here with the uh, teriyaki. And I put a little bit of uh, coarse ground black pepper on top of that. Here we have the jerky lovers, which was topped with a little bit of uh, crushed uh, red pepper. Here we have the original, which is basically just uh, just a bunch of seasonings and then marinated with the seasonings and water. And then finally the sriracha uh, jerky. So all these turned out really well. Um, one of the things, uh, just to give you an idea how I cooked mine, or, um, I got them so that I could bend them and they don't just break apart. So they still do have some moisture in them which is the way I like it. So that's kind of how I tried to pull pull them off of the smoker or out of the oven. Um, so they'll have a little bit of chew but won't be completely dried out. Um, one other thing that to note is in my recipes I did use the curing salt and all three of the marinades so um, they will potentially last a little bit longer. So let's uh, let's go ahead and give these a try and see how they turned out. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and give these a try. So first one I'm going to try is, uh, this is the original flavor. And what I did is, um, I did put a little bit of uh, crushed red pepper on this one as well. So, it's got a good this piece is nice and dried out, not too bad. It's got a just a basic flavor to it, so it's not sweet. It's just got the seasonings, you know, a little bit of saltiness to it. But overall, what a normal kind of plain jerky would you expect? The sriracha. Take a bite of this. A little bit of a pull on that one. It's good, nice and dry. Definitely can taste the sriracha um, pepper coming through. And a little bit of heat on the back end. Not very hot though. Here's a piece of the uh, teriyaki. The teriyaki I put um, 
crushed ground pepper. Definitely some teriyaki flavor coming through on that one. And next time I might go a little bit lighter on the on the pepper. Because the pepper is a little bit overpowering. So maybe, maybe just put a little less of a sprinkle on it next time. And the final one is the jerky lovers. Now, jerky lovers has a lot more sweetness to it because it had uh, brown sugar, um, pineapple juice, and so a lot of those, you know, sweetness flavors to it. It's got a little bit of a heat because I got crushed red pepper on top, but none of these have too much heat, so it's just in just a little bit. Well, there you have it, folks. Nice batch of jerky all done. Um, if you have any venison laying around, or heck, beef for that matter, you can always make up a batch of jerky. Um, put it, Get it out on your smoker, or for that matter, you can actually do it in your oven. But this actually turned out really, really good this time, and I'm pretty happy with it. I think I've got a couple favorites in here, as far as which ones I think I, uh, I prefer. And... Um, let me know what you think if you've tried these types of recipes before. What, what, what recipe do you enjoy for jerky? So go ahead and leave that in the comments below. If you like this video, go ahead and click the like button. And if you want to see other videos like this, go ahead and click the subscribe button to see other videos like this on this channel in the future. So with that, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.